Lam Mozambique Airlines Flight 470 was a scheduled international passenger flight from Maputo, Mozambique, to Luanda, Angola. On 29 November 2013, the Embraer E-190 twinjet operating the service crashed into the Bawabwata National Park, Namibia, halfway through its flight, killing all 27 passengers and six crew on board. Preliminary findings of the Mozambican Civil Aviation Institute IACM showed that the pilot deliberately crashed the jet. The Mozambican Association of Air Operators disputes the conclusion of the IACM. The Directorate of Aircraft Accident Investigations Namibia stated that the pilot inputting controls leading to the crash was the probable cause of the aviation accident. Accident The aircraft had departed Maputo International Airport at 11.26 CAT 9.26 Coordinated Universal Time, and was due to land at 14.10 WAT 13.10 Coordinated Universal Time at Quatro de Fevereiro Airport, Angola. While cruising at about 38,000 feet 12, meters in Botswanan airspace, about halfway between Maputo and Luanda, the Embraer began to rapidly lose altitude. The aircraft descended rapidly at a rate of about 100 feet 30 meters per second and was being tracked on radar. The aircraft's track was lost from screens at 3,000 feet 910 meters above sea level, after about six minutes of losing altitude. Shortly after, the aircraft crashed into Bawabwata National Park and exploded. The explosion completely destroyed the aircraft and killed all 33 people on board instantly. The last contact with air traffic control was made at 13:30 CAT, 11:30 Coordinated Universal Time over northern Namibia during heavy rainfall. Weather was reported to be poor at the time of the incident, with heavy rainfall in the vicinity of the flight path. Topic: <laughs> Aircraft <laughs> 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 The aircraft involved in the incident was an Embraer 190 with manufacturer serial number 581, registered as C9EMC and named Chai Mite. The aircraft was manufactured in October 2012 and was delivered to Lam Mozambique Airlines in November 2012. It had since accumulated more than 2,900 flight hours in 1900 flight cycles. It was powered by two General Electric CF-3410E engines. The airframe and the engines were last inspected on 28 November 2013, one day before the crash. Topic. Passengers and crew LAM Mozambique Airlines confirmed there were a total of 33 people on board 27 passengers and 6 crew members. The Namibian Police Force Deputy Commissioner Willie Bampton stated that there were no survivors and that the aircraft was completely burned to ashes. The crew comprised two pilots, three cabin attendants, and a technician. The captain, Herminio dos Santos Fernandes, had logged more than 9,000 flight hours in total while the first officer had accumulated about 1,400 hours of flying experience. Topic. 
Topic Response The government of Mozambique announced it would declare a period of national mourning. Portuguese President Anibal Cavaco Silva expressed condolence to victims' families. LAM Mozambique Airlines reported it was providing counseling and legal advice to families in both Mozambique and Angola and had set up an information hotline. The pattern of debris indicated that the aircraft slid along the ground for several hundred meters. Both flight recorders, the cockpit voice recorder (CVR) and the flight data recorder (FDR) were recovered from the crash site within four days of the crash and were subsequently sent to the United States National Transportation Safety Board for readout. Investigation <inaudible> 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 On 21 December 2013, the Mozambican Civil Aviation Institute Instituto Mocambicano de Aviacao Civil, IACM head João Abreu presented the preliminary investigation report, according to which Captain Herminio dos Santos Fernandes had a clear intention to crash the jet and manually changed its autopilot settings, making this a suicide by pilot. The aircraft's intended altitude was reportedly changed three times from 38,000 feet to 592 feet the latter being below ground level, and the speed was manually adjusted as well. The cockpit voice recorder captured several alarms going off during the descent, as well as repeated loud bangs on the door from the co-pilot, who was locked out of the cockpit. Contrary to regulations by Mozambique Airlines, no cabin crew member was deployed in the cockpit during the time of the co pilot's absence. Investigations of the aircraft's pilot revealed that 49 year old Captain Fernandez had suffered a number of blows of fate prior to the accident. His son died in a suspected suicide in November 2012. Fernandez stayed away from the funeral. His daughter was in hospital for heart surgery at the time of the crash, and his divorce proceedings were unresolved for over a decade. Despite the conclusion of the IACM, the Mozambican Association of Air Operators (AMOPAR) disputed the preliminary report, explaining that the maneuvers of Captain Fernandez were from the manual of standard operating procedures issued by Embraer, the manufacturer of the crashed aircraft, about how to act in emergency situation to avert disaster. According to the AMOPAR document, the Mozambican government had not complied with the standards and recommendations of the International Civil Aviation Organization (ICAO) about the disclosure contents and procedures relating to the preliminary report of the investigation of the crash of flight TM470 on the 15th of April 2016 the DAAI released its final report finding that the inputs to the auto flight systems by the person believed to be the captain who remained alone on the flight deck when the person believed to be the co-pilot requested to go to the lavatory caused the aircraft to depart from cruise flight transition to a sustained controlled descent and subsequently crash Topic. See also Aviation safety Embraer E-Jet family section accidents and incidents 
List of accidents and incidents involving airliners by location section Namibia Egyptair Flight 990 Royal Air Maroc Flight 630